Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the secret to the lens flare in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at Flurn. Any questions you guys have about Photoshop or photography, let me know right here on Twitter. Today we're going to a really cool episode. It's unlocking the secret to the lens flare. Now we've gotten a ton of people saying like, Aaron, every time I go to use the lens flare, I can't use it on a blank layer. I have to just like do it on like a background layer or I got to make a stamp visible layer and it's super annoying. What can I do to like actually get the lens flare so I can, you know, put it on a new layer and maybe like transform it and shape it and things like that. So I've got a really amazing tip for you guys. It's not going to take too long and uh, you're going to be able to use it on any lens flare you apply in Photoshop in the future. So here's our image today. We're working on this image by Val and he's one of our contest winners from our last week contest. If you guys want your images edited here on Flurn, all you have to do is submit it to our contest, which we have every single week at flurn.com. And what we're gonna do, this is it's an awesome image. I really like it. The you know the lighting coming from back here, we've got like a really shallow depth of field, super nice lens. And um, I just wanted to add a little bit of lens flare and I'll show you guys how to get over this. So um, here's the problem. If I just create a new blank layer and I go to filter, and I go down here to render and we go to lens flare, it's basically gonna say you can't do it because the blank layer, uh, the layer is blank. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick tip. So what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna click on this layer itself. So filter and we're gonna go to render and then down here to lens flare, okay? Now in the lens flare dialog, you can kind of choose where you want it. I'm gonna put it in the top right and we'll just adjust the brightness a little bit and say okay. So that looks nice, but what about, you know, you're editing and in like 10 minutes you decide you want a little bit less lens flare or something like that. Like we're always doing non-destructive editing on Flurn, so you can like change the opacity things. But let's say we wanted to move it or change the hue or something like that. Well, you can because it's locked to this layer. Like I can't just grab my move to tool and, you know, move the lens flare. It's locked to the layer. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a blank layer. So the first step is basically just to, on your layer, go to filter and then we're gonna go down to render and to lens flare, there we go. And then choose it like you would normally do. So this is, everything here is normal, like choose it like you would normally put the lens flare on there. Now I just want you to hit Command Z and undo that. So undo that and we're good to go. Now it sounds weird that I just asked you to do that, but hold on for a second and it'll, it'll explain in a second. So next we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna hit Shift Delete and we're gonna fill this with black. Okay. So we've created a new layer, filled it with black. Now I'm gonna to go to filter, and I'm gonna go right here to where it says lens flare. And notice I'm not going down here to render and then to lens flare. I'm just going directly to this lens flare because this basically is just whatever filter you just did, it's going to reapply it again. And this time it's gonna apply it on the black layer. So lens flare, and it puts it in the exact same place, exact same intensity, everything like that. It's putting it right here on this black layer, which is cool. Okay, so now all we have to do is use a blending mode that knocks away the black and we'll just get the lens flare. So we can use the blending mode screen to do that. So let's hit screen and there we go. So the image looks the same, but now the lens flare is on a new layer, which is amazing. You can do things like change your opacity if you want to do that. Let's say this is a little bit of a warmer image, right? So if I hit command U for my hue saturation, I could warm up my lens flare a little bit too. Right, like you could have a green lens flare or blue lens flare if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna go to the right a little bit and warm that up. There we go, so something you couldn't do straight out of the box in Photoshop. Now the other cool thing is, I'm gonna hit Command T on this lens flare. You can move your little, um, your little uh, point, I don't know what that thing is actually called. <laughs> I think it's called the control point. You can move the control point from the center to the uh, to the light right there, and then you can actually rotate your lens flare around as well. In this case, I do want to scale it out so it you know go ahead and you know covers my edges. But you can scale it, you can rotate it. Like let's say one of these lights were like going right through your subject's head, you could rotate it around so it was like at a little bit better of an angle or something like that. So I'm gonna hit escape, but just showing you guys some other options you can do. The other options you can apply to this are like. These you know, other lighting effects are nice, but I usually like to blur them out a little bit. So you could go to Filter, Blur, and you can go to Gaussian Blur, and then you can give these, you know, just the lens flare a little bit of blur. So you still have these lights, but they're a little bit on the blurred side, so they're not as intrusive to your photo. Or you can also put a layer mask on your lens flare and just layer mask out, you know, like, oh, I just don't want these to be visible, just right there. Whatever, whatever it is, you can do this now 
on just your lens flare, which is really, really cool, and it makes it a lot easier to use and a heck of a lot more versatile. And that's it for today's episode on the amazing secret of the lens flare. Guys, we're coming up with new ideas for Flurn Pro tutorials all the time. We've got some great ones in the works, but we also wanna know what would you like to learn? Is there something you'd like to learn and have us teach in depth? Our pro tutorials are two and a half hours long in, ge in general, and we cover things in Photoshop and photography, like hardcore, 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 amazing learning. So if there's something you guys wanna learn in depth, let us know in a comment right down below, and we'll take into account when we're producing our next Flurn Pro Tutorial. Thanks so much, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and as always, I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Dang. That was awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've only done this 617 times.